Hi everybody, uh, we just had our pre-production copy of Solar Storm come through last week so I thought I'd just make a quick video to show you how it's come out uh, so you know what you're getting. Uh, as you can see the UV on the ship has come through really well, uh, I'm really happy with that. Uh, the box feels really sturdy, it's really strong, the stretch goal to make it thicker has made the world of difference so well done to you guys for that. Uh, so yeah, there's the box. Uh, we've got the punch board, that's come through quite nicely. Uh, everything is as it should be there. Uh, they punch through quite nicely. There's no issues with it being pulled apart or anything, so happy with that. As you can see in the background, we've got the play mat. Uh, and most people requested that it had spaces for the cards, so that's what you got. Uh, rule book. Rule book has also come through nicely. We had uh, Sebastian from OK Art Studio redo the graphic design because the one that we had before was done by myself. Uh, but you guys made made that much money on the Kickstarter. We thought we'd get a professional to do it. So there we go. Um, and he's done a fantastic job at that. And the printing has come out superb as well. So there's that. Uh, let's see what else we've got in here. The meeples. So the meeples, they have cut, but they have not painted or screen printed because of the way the machinery works. So there's the little ones. So for anyone who gets the base game, that is what you'll be getting. Wherever I've dropped that. There we go. And then let's get these out so you can have a look at them all. And then the larger ones. So there's the, there's the size difference between the two. Uh, so anyone who's got the deluxe copy has got these bad boys. So these will be painted and they will be screen printed before you get them. And the manufacturer has assured us that they'll be sending photos as they start them just so we can make sure it's all okay. Uh, cubes. They look like cubes, They're actually quite good quality. So you get some that are a bit rough around the edges from some manufacturers, but these are smooth, no, nothing, no bits that you can pull away at, so that's nice. Uh, the dice, that has all the sides that it requires. Uh, and then we have the cards. So these have come out nicely again. Uh, the way they work is that the edges will be curved. This has got the bleed on it, so anyone who knows anything about that, uh, they'll be a little bit trimmed off around all the edges and the curve put in. So you, your cards are probably coming out to about there on both sides. Uh, but these have come out nicely. Uh, people are asking for extra or different art. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have time to do that. All we've done is flip them and change the colour slightly on them so it's easier to find them if you're looking for a difference. Uh, a good example is probably the repair centre. So, there you go. Uh, pretty much everything seems to have come out as expected. Uh, there was one or two little issues, but we've already had contact the manufacturer and had that adjusted. Just stuff like this, like uh, when you flip a damage card, it was usually most people take it and turn it over like that. So we've had it so that the back has been rotated. So when you flip it like that, it comes out the right way up. That's about it. Uh, I'm gonna upload this to YouTube and then copy it in to all the social media and I'll share it on the Kickstarter, next Kickstarter update as well. So hopefully you're all as happy with this as we are, because we are really excited about this. Uh, we are hitting Chinese New Year, uh, but that shouldn't be an issue for our timeline as we said in our last update. It should still all get to you by end of May, early June. So there should be no issues there. So yeah, we'll keep you updated as and when things come out and as and when we know things. So thanks for your support and 
we'll keep you informed as and when.